Hey everyone, my name is Ryan and this is the second video I'm making about making Twitter bots uh, using Node.js and the Twitter v2 API. And in this video, we're going to go through how to tweet images uh, using the v2 Twitter API. So just before we get into this, uh, I just want to show you, um, well, there's, here's the NPM page for the package that we're using. And you can scroll down here and yeah, we've got two links here. So the endpoints for v1.1 and v2, uh, because this package, uh, you can use the v1 and v2 uh, Twitter API. And everything you sort of need is in here. So for example, using the v1 API, you know, you can create a tweet and, you know, you just call you know, your client.v1.tweet uh, and you've got also got the same for the v2. Um, so this is um, where all the information is, but I'll take you through how to do uh, some things. And in this video, we'll be going through how to tweet an image. So basically the goal for this uh, video is to tweet this using our application. So it says, hello world, this is an image of Ukraine and it is an image of Ukraine. Uh, so let's get straight into it. All right, so as always, I've created a blog post uh, with all the steps that we'll go through today and all the code and stuff, you can just copy it over from this blog post. So that'll be in the link, a link in the description below. Um, and just in case you don't know, uh, this tutorial follows on from my previous um, video. Uh, and there's a blog post here creating a Twitter bot with Node.js and the Twitter API. So this follows on. Uh, so if you haven't done that, definitely go to that one first. Uh, but let's get into it. So step one, we just need to install a couple more packages. So we need to uh, install FS, so the file system and request. So let's go ahead and do that. So that one's done. And that one's done. Cool. Um, so let's go on to step two. So we're going to create a utilities.js file and add a download function. So why are we doing this? So basically when we want to tweet an image, uh, we first have to upload the image to the Twitter servers. That'll pass back a media ID and then we can use that media ID when we are tweeting um, an image. So that it's almost like a two-step process. And an issue with that is well, when we're uploading it to the uh, the Twitter servers. Um, when we're using the v2 Twitter API, that image needs to be on our sort of file system. So if you're hosting it at Imager, for example, uh, we first need to download that image, upload it to the Twitter servers, and then we can tweet it out. So let's just copy this one over and I will create a new file. utilities.js and this has just got one function in it and it basically will download that um, uh, the image onto our local file system so then we can upload it to the Twitter servers so let me just save that cool so we'll jump back over to the blog post and we'll go into step three so now it's time to upload the image to Twitter and tweet it so we will go back to our index.js file and we'll bring in the download function that we just made. And we're also going to replace this tweet function. So I'm gonna put this one in here. Cool, so uh, yeah, obviously this is a little bit different, so I'll take you through it. So the URI, well, we're gonna be calling our download function. So the URI is going to be the source of our image. So mine is hosted at, at Imager. And yeah, it's just the image of Ukraine. And I'm going to call, well, this is just the name of the file, well, what you're going to call the file in your local file system. And then the callback function is going to be when we call the download function. Um, so what's happening in here? So we've got it in a try catch block. And the first thing it does is it uploads the media to Twitter. So Twitter client.v1 this time, dot upload media. And that's going to upload image.png. Now remember that one is going to be the one that has just downloaded from this source here. Um, so that's gonna do that one. So maybe what we'll do, um, I'll console log uh, the media ID and we'll just run that one and I'll just comment this out. And 
will run that one. Cool. So what's happened here? So we've got image.png, which, which has been downloaded into our local file system, just where all the files are. And it has thrown us back a media ID. So yeah, once it's up onto the Twitter servers, it's gonna pass that back and then we can just use that when we're tweeting out our image. So we'll come back here and we'll uncomment this one. So we're calling that same function, so the v2.tweet. But this time we're passing in a object and it's got two attributes. It's got text and this is gonna be a hello world. Uh, this is our image. This is an image of, in Ukraine and it's also got media and you have to pass it an array of media IDs. In this case, we've only got one and we're going to pass in obviously the media ID that we just got uh, back. So if I save that one, I'll actually jump over to Twitter and I'll delete that one. I've done this a few times. Uh, save all that and then run it. Give it a second. Cool. So now if we jump back here and refresh the page, hopefully it has been tweeted out. Cool. And there it is. So nine seconds ago, hello world. This is an image of Ukraine and it's got our image there. So hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.